There you are. So glad you stopped by. I was just thinking about you. Well, today I want to give you a little uh, update on Deuslix Worldly Gig, where I'm at right now. So hang on to your hats. Well, first up, let me show you Grandma in her rocking chair here. I got her fitted in there, but she, not permanently. And she's got some legs, they're not glued in yet. And I I had to <laughs> I had to do some carving to make her fit in there on her dress here. On both sides. She's fitting in. Oops. She's fitting in there pretty good now. I think she'll be alright. But I haven't put her in, I haven't glued her in there permanently because I want to make a silicone mold of her. She's going to fit right in here like something like that and I'll make a silicone mold. I ran out of silicone so I need to uh, wait for that to show up so I can make a mold of her. I got a mold of her legs made. But not her. I just put together this box with super glue and then I glued these things in there around her to so I wouldn't use so much silicone. I made a silicone mold of the girl so now I can reproduce her easily. I don't know if you can see but I carved a little <laughs> the color it doesn't look very good in this light. But I carved a little bit on her chin and tried to make it smaller. I think she looks a little better. Okay, so I got a silicone mold of the boy. And now the girl. Okay, well that's that. Let me show you the... platform I've been working on. I got it all glued together. And I, I put the propeller on it and we were having some pretty good wind and so I just let it kind of break itself in without anything attached to it. So it went good. And I got this piece of plywood that fits on top here. I got it all painted. It'll go on there like that. And everything will fit on top of that. So that's looking good. What I've been doing with this platform is every day I'll coat it with some linseed oil, generous coat of linseed oil, and then I'll take a uh, some 800 grit sandpaper and just sand it down while it's all wet. Yes, right there. Take some 800 grit and just sand it all. And the stand and everything. The stand is really nice. I think I probably got about 10 or 15 coats on this stand. I got about five coats on this. But I'll just keep doing that for another five days. Every day I'll just coat it with linseed oil and sand it down a little bit and then wipe it all off yeah. give it a, I can feel it already it's really nice and soft okay and I've been doing the same thing to these uh, these things hold the teeter-totter and this one holds the rocking chair so that's that. So it's coming along. Oh, one more thing I want to talk about is the propeller. I started painting the propeller. Got this grandma in a rocking chair, and then the kids playing on the teeter totter. There's a little tree with beaches in it. But it's supposed to be Mount Hood. So. I got two of them painted so far. 
they're all a little bit different. But what I did first was I traced an outline of the propeller onto some paper and then I just kind of drew out a little plan of what I wanted. That seemed to work out pretty well. I suppose I could have done it right on the propeller. But anyway, I made a little drawing first. So now I just need to uh, paint it <laughs> six more times. I got some of it on there. Some of the basic sh shapes. But I think that's going to look pretty good. been watching some YouTube videos on uh, p painting and how to paint clouds and stuff. <laughs> a lot of the painting is about mixing the colors, I'm, fi I'm finding out. Let's see if I can't see. A bit of a light on there. Well, we're just about... Uh, getting toward the end of this whirly gig so it's really getting exciting probably the next video I'll, I'll have it all working hopefully so no promises but we'll see I sure appreciate you stopping by take care we'll see you down the trail bye now